So we were quickly going uh, through it, and in order to save uh, the time of this honorable house, perhaps you can give us an opportunity to go through these documents, because we need to go through them. But let's go through, through it. Perhaps if you agree, Mweshimua Speaker, perhaps we can get on with the first prosecution witness giving evidence, and as soon as we've gone through this, then we shall come back to you, Mweshimua Speaker. Thank you for your wisdom, Senior Counsel. Now, uh, the other name that has been raised is on the issue of summons to witnesses. Now, if you look at our rules of procedure, more particularly rule number 10, which provides as follows, that the Senate may, at the request of the National Assembly or the President, and in this particular matter, the Deputy President, invite or summon any person to appear and give evidence before the Senate. So the summons that have been sought are in line with the spirit of Rule 10 of our Rules of Procedure. You may attack the evidence when these particular witnesses who have been summoned, if their evidence introduces other allegations, then at that particular uh, juncture, the legal team from the Deputy President, you may raise an issue, and I'll certainly hear you at that juncture. Uh, permit me, Mojimua Speaker, to place it on record that the rules of this Honorable Senate must and have to be respected. But even above respecting the rules of this Honorable House, our Constitution has to be respected. Article 50, the right to a fair trial, which in terms of Article 25C, Mwashimua Speaker, you will remember, you are aware, that is a right that cannot be compromised in any manner. There has been no explanation why the EACC was, in, was never asked to investigate the allegations before they were tabled before the National Assembly and before a decision was taken. Because the National Assembly cannot investigate criminal offenses. In fact, in implementing Chapter 6 of the Constitution, the act of parliament say that conviction is necessary. And now you want to reverse the will of the Kenyan people in electing the deputy president without him being reported or the matter being investigated or him being convicted. Mweshimua Speaker, I plead that you reconsider your exercise of that discretion in permitting witnesses from the EACC to be called in order for the deputy president to have a fair trial before this. Thank you. Senior Counsel Paul Mwite, you, Mwashimu Speaker, you're actually arguing your case. What I said, there was some invitation that was sent to both parties, and each party was requested to submit a list of witnesses. The National Assembly submitted a list of witnesses with a request under Rule 10 of our rules procedure for the Senate to summon. That is the request that has just been made by the National Assembly, and it is permissible, and it is within our rules of procedure. Mr. Speaker, you and are si Senior Counsel Paul Mwite, I will refer you to Rule Number 30 of our rules of procedure where the ruling of the speaker is final. So let's, lay, let's leave the matter there. I've made my ruling. Let's make progress, senior counsel. Mr. Mwashimu, speaker, I agree entirely. You are the one sitting in the seat of power. Your award is final. I have said what I've said. Your rules are subject to the Constitution. I accept your ruling. Now we'll move to the 
second limb of this uh, hearing. Honorable clerk, you may now proceed to call the next